The Lukim PNG Now Tourism Expo brings together local exhibitors as well as local and international travel agents, wholesalers and travel magazines. We are trying to get more people interested in tourism in Papua New Guinea. A lot of people still don't know about much about tourism in Papua New Guinea. In fact, many people, when we go to America, for example, they don't even know where Papua New Guinea is. So we need to change that. Encouraging lively discussions and feedback from industry stakeholders and entities, the exposition was welcomed after a long absence, collectively by the industry stakeholders present at today's Industry Day. Oh, really, it's all about the uh, big exposure. We need a lot of exposure uh, to this event. I, I think this event is one of those sort of classic things that we really need to promote our destinations around Papua New Guinea. There's a lot of neat products here. Kokoda is one of them doing trekking. There are others here, but I think it's a wonderful and fantastic idea. Some of the key impediments that affect the country's tourism industry, such as law and order and high travel costs, were addressed by the Papua New Guinea Tourism Promotion Authority, a statutory body responsible for marketing PNG as a desirable tourist destination. There's quite a few challenges that we have. Um, one would be the law and order issue. Um, it's expensive to travel within Papua New Guinea. Um, so these are some of the main challenges that we have, but we have programs in place and we've planned for an, an image improvement. The four-day event, which began on Wednesday and concludes on Saturday with a public expo, addresses some of the challenges faced by the PNG tourism industry. I'm Leanne Girari, National MTV News.